First, at 5 o'clock, though, we now know dozens of families lost their homes in a Dallas condo fire that unfolded today. This is exactly four weeks from Christmas. And at one point, the raging fire trapped three firefighters where they faced a life threatening building collapse. Our Steve Pickett is live at the Cambridge Park condos in Lake Highlands. And, Steve, this was equivalent to a city block burning. It is absolutely amazing to see 60 men, women, and children burned out. And the result of those flames, that is what's left, Gilman and Doug, as firefighters still putting water on this location. One tenant uh, treated for smoke inhalation, and you mentioned those three firefighters. The others in, throughout this community, they are injury free essentially. But as you can imagine, they are hurt, emotionally hurt. Oh, man. It feels terrible. It's devastating. Dorothea Newman. Jamar Rayson, Carmen Deffer. Their tears and trauma outmatched by the smoke and fire that destroyed their individual homes connected to a condominium building that burned to the ground. I mean, the material stuff is, is okay. Everything, as long as everybody got out, man, you know, but um, it's just sad. We, we had a lot of memories in there, a lot of valuable stuff, and um, it's, it's just gone. Dallas Fire Rescue points to a call at 9.15 a.m. To Cambridge Park condominiums. A maintenance duo across the street rushed to evacuate tenants. We just went out there and started yelling for them. That way they could hear our voice because we opened the doors, but it was just black with smoke. Were, you couldn't see anything. I live right next door to where the fire started, I believe. When I first came out the building, I looked on those people's patio. That's where the fire was at. Ten minutes later, the whole building was engulfed in flames. 24 condominiums in one building, gone. Mayday has been. Three firefighters in a second floor unit, they were trapped after a ceiling collapse. They suffered minor burns and scrapes. They were able to get them out safely. Um, all three of those firefighters were taken to uh, hospitals with non-life-threatening injuries. Uh, thankfully, everybody's going to be okay. But Joe Marrison, Carmen Deffer, Dorothea Newman, and 20 other families here, they had to watch their homes burn. And they may never know what caused this fire. That is a result of fire rescue folks telling us uh, the extent nature of this fire. They may not able to, to determine essentially an ignition point. Uh, it is believed to be on the first level of this one building, and they retained it to this one building. But as a result, those 60 people, men, women, and children, obviously affected. Red Cross still trying to determine right now where they will house some of these folks. Again, these are individual condominiums, not apartments, so you just can't put them to another complex. They've got to figure this out. A lot of hurt folks in this community here in Lake Highlands tonight. Reporting live, Steve Pickett, CBS 11 News. Steve, thank you. CBS 11 will continue following the investigation into the cause of this fire and its aftermath. Any new information we learn, we will share it with you on air and on our CBS DFW social media pages.